Yo, what's up, everybody? How you doing? You know who this is, the chosen one, Gabriel Skywalker from the DFS Club, coming to you guys with the showdown, Thursday night football edition. If you guys are new, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave me a comment down below, and if you're returning, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for viewing my videos, excuse me, for the comments, the likes. I really appreciate it, guys. This channel's been blowing up, and I have no one to thank but you guys, so... Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys. So before we do, I got to shout out the club, the DFS club, guys. This is my home where you get my lineups, ownership, projections, top stacks. The members only podcast one hour before lock, guys, is DFS club. Dot com. You got two providers in one. You got DFS space, myself, Skywalker DFS, and you get every single sport, every sport, NBA, NFL, MLB, PGA, NHL, tennis, NASCAR, soccer, eSports, UFC, WNBA, college sports. We got some EuroLeague basketball going tomorrow morning, so let's go, man. Click join now. It's real easy. Click on my logo, Skywalker DFS. And pick your plans, guys. And if you look at the prices, we're the cheapest in the business. Every plan includes every single sport. The only difference is how long are you, how long do you want to commit to? We got about a month, six months, a year, and we have three-day passes for only $7.99, guys. Again, you get my lineups, ownership, projections, top stacks. We do the members-only podcast one hour before lock. Um, we cover prize picks and sports wagering. So... Come check us out, guys, dfsclub.com. You dare be sour. All right, so let's bring up Draft Dashboard, the sponsor of the show. This is the tool, guys. This is what I use for all my videos, for all my research. If you want to try it out, click on the link in the description below. You yourself can have Draft Dashboard for $1. That is it. $1, guys, cancel at any time. You get access to all my player pools for NFL, NBA, MLB, and NHL. You get the lineup optimizer, the player trends, who's trending up, who's getting in the old prison pocket, sleepers and studs of the slate, and the position optimizer. And what else? We get the NFL cheat sheet, because if you can't win, cheat. All right, guys. So this is Draft Dashboard. Check it out, guys. One dollar. All right, so let's get into it. We have San Francisco at Tennessee. This one should be fun. All right, so first up, we got the quarterbacks. We got Jimmy G and Ryan Tannehill. Um, both are in play. Both are playing pretty soft defenses. Uh, both are about equally as good. Uh, Ryan Tannehill is a little bit more up of a rushing side. Like he might rush in for a touchdown, but Jimmy G's been outscoring him 14, 20, 18 in his last two. Sorry, last three. And Tannehill's last three 12, 17, and only nine. But I do think both quarterbacks are in play. As Like I say, um, when you make your lineups, try and correlate at least two pass catchers with your quarterback, guys. You can do a Niners line. You can do a Tennessee line or just mix and match. You can do both quarterbacks, which is what I do most of the time. But it seems to work out that way. Let's go to running backs. A lot of running backs to choose from here. So we got Foreman at 7.6K. He's taken over. Uh, big shoes to fill though, but he's doing, he's doing all right. 22, 13, 19 touches. That's a lot, a lot. Tennessee loves to run the ball. Doesn't get a lot of targets though. Um, but 19, 14, 14 in his last three, seven, six, I think it's kind of cheap though on DraftKings. Get him in there. Even on FanDuel, he's only eight, one. Jeff Wilson Jr. Should get the start. He's only 5.2 K broke out with 21 rushes last game, 23 DraftKings points. The Niners blew him out. But Tennessee is pretty tough against the rush, guys. They're actually number one in the league against the rush. So, I don't know. Jeff Wilson will be in play because he's very cheap. But just be careful because that's dangerous. Number one in the league, man. I do like Dontrell Hilliard at 2.8K. I think this is way too cheap. Man, he does everything. Running back, wide receiver, punt returns, kick returns. You name it, he does it. Um, was it six, two, two targets in his last three, nine, six, and 12, but he has 10, one, and 22 DraftKings points in his last three. He's only 2.8K. He's like Cordell Patterson, right? He does that role, everything. Um, Debo Samuel, same thing. 
That's what Hiller does for Tennessee. So get him in there at 2-8. One of my favorite pay downs easily. You got Jeremy McNichols at 2-2. The backup, I mean, he does play. He's out there for 28% of the snaps. Six and eight rushes in his last two, only eight and two DraftKings points. So the Niners defense is 15th in the league, so right there in the middle against the rush. So I'd probably roll with some Tennessee running backs here. You got Kyle Juszczyk at $1,800. He'll get some targets. He always does. One, two, and three targets in his last three. Eight, two, and four DraftKings points. So there are tons of ways to go on this slate. That's why I really like this showdown. All right, let's go to wide receivers. we got Debo at 11.6K. At this price point, you kind of want 20 or 30, and he can definitely get you there. Running back, wide receiver, tight end. This dude, he'll be a quarterback, right? He does everything. Um, 11.6K, Debo Samuels in play. Tennessee's ranked dead last in the league against wide receivers. So with that said, sign me up for some Brandon Ayuk at 8,000. That's too cheap, man. And I think his ownership will be down because he's been struggling, man. 5, 19, 9. Before that, though, a 13 and a 22. He only got two targets last game, but the game before that, he got 11 targets. It was just kind of a weird game how it set up, and then it blew out. So I love Brandon Ayuk. I love the matchup. Again, Tennessee's ranked 31st in the league against wide receivers. So get him in there at only 8,000. Um, Julio Jones at 6 8 is fine, but I mean, 7, 8, 6 DraftKings points. I'm not interested, but, I mean, he's fine. Um, Nick Westbrook, Ekine, I think is how you pronounce it, 5.4K. He's doing better than Julio, and he's more consistent. Seven, three, and five targets in his last three. Um, seven, six, and 11 DraftKings points. So I'd consider him like a very safe wide receiver play. You got Juwan Jennings at 5K. Uh, Jimmy G does look for him in the red zone. Um, so he's boom or bust, man, pretty much. But last two weeks, six and five targets. 8 and 12 DraftKings points. So 5K is really cheap for going up against Tennessee. Rick dead last, guys. So let's go to wide receiver. So George Kittle's obviously my favorite payup and everybody else's. Um, Tennessee's ranked fifth in the league against tight ends. So they're pretty tough on tight ends, but George Kittle's pretty much matchup proof, man. He had six targets last week, 15 DraftKings points. That's still a low week for him before that, 37 and a 43. Those are Derrick Henry numbers. So George Kittle at 11-2. What is he on FanDuel? $100 more? Definitely getting to get him in there. There's so much value on this slate. Um, and then some punt plays. You got Jeff Swaim at 3.2K. He's out there for 62% of the snaps. It's just the volume's really not there. One, four, and two targets in his last three. Two, eight, and two. And same with Fersker, man, 2.6K. He's out there for 39% of the snaps, but he does get targets. One, five, and two. If you can get one of these five target games here, he's going to crush this 2.6 uh, price tag. And you guys already know, it's always a random tight end that gets a touchdown in these showdowns and wins you all the money. So who's it going to be, right? Swain, Fersker, I don't know, but I'd – say take a chance on one of them if you need some salary relief kickers are fine i mean for their price tags they're pretty much always going to pay this off they'll get like five to ten DraftKings points which is fine and then defenses not really on any defenses here it it's just it rarely works out guys it rarely does so let's go to the lineup optimizer and we'll do a DraftKings one then we'll do a uh fandle one so let's try and get uh, George Kittle, captain spot. Let's get Jimmy G. So you got one pass catcher. You got two pass catchers, right? You got Debo. You got Ayuk. Um, I got to get my man in here. Where's he at? Dontrell Hilliard at 2.8. And we're still 6K over, guys. 6K. So I think you have to pretty much... I mean, we don't have to play Julio, but still, we're not going to go down here to the $200 range. Um... I don't really want to go to Swaim unless I have to. Like, the lowest I'll probably go is Juwan Jennings. So, Debo or Kittle? Which one do you guys like better? Pretty much is how it's going to play out. Um, Jeff Wilson. You can put in Westbrook. Uh, Julio Jones. Who I think is just overpriced. Um, McNichols. Use check. Furster. 
just barely can't get the foreman right. We're six hundred dollars over, but um, let's see. You can go down a little bit. I don't like coming off of Juwan Jennings for that price tag, but so it's going to be tough, man. Especially if you're going to do two quarterbacks, it's going to be really tough. You're going to have to punt somewhere if you're going to put George Kittle at captain. But let's say you want to get a little different. Um, you don't want to go too crazy at captain, right? Um, because, I mean, sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you get lucky. Like a Jeff Wilson captain spot, um, I wouldn't go any lower than that. So let's say, let's go Jeff Wilson, right? Since he's a running back, you don't have to put Jimmy G with him. But, I mean, you can. And then let's see if we can fit. Um, let's see. Where's Tannehill at? Right here. See if we can fit. So we still got six grand to play with. Can we get up to Debo? Yep. We can get up to Debo, Juwan Jennings, Hilliard, and we still got money left over. So this is a kind of another way to go. You can go Westbrook. So if you put Jeff Wilson as your captain, you got both quarterbacks. You got Debo Samuel, Hilliard. Westbrook, you're right. I still don't like it, though. Honestly, I still don't like it. But you're leaving two grand on the table. The more money you leave on the table, the better, guys, because you have a lesser chance of tying with 400 of your best friends. Trust me. I took down in the big contest like three weeks ago. You guys remember that. I shared it with 400 people. So seeing what the top prize would have been as opposed to what it ended up being after the split, it was kind of disheartening, but a takedown is a takedown. So let's look at FanDuel. So FanDuel, I generally like to do, use quarterbacks, but you can get away on this slate with using George Kittle as an MVP, I think. So you're going to have to put in Jimmy G with them to correlate there. Um, IU Debo Samuel is fine. And then you have to get somebody from Tennessee. So how about... Dontrell Hilliard, but we just can't make it. Hilliard's actually priced up really high on, on DraftKings, where he should be. So it's not that easy, but, I mean, you can still get McNichols, Juwan Jennings, but you have to get a Titan in here, right? So you can go McNichols, and you got $500 to play with. So FanDuel is going to be a lot easier to fit in the studs that you want, especially if you're going to do a Tennessee stack, but... I don't know, man. The Niners have been looking pretty good lately, so good luck with that. So that's going to do it for the video, guys. Just a quick video, just a little showdown video for you guys. Again, if you're new, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below. I do NFL, NHL when that comes back, um, NBA, UFC, all those videos, guys. So make sure you subscribe and come join the family, guys, dfsclub.com where you get my lineups, the ownership, the projections, top stacks, every tool you'll ever need. The members only podcast one hour before lock, everything in one spot. Click join now, click on my logo and pick your plan and you are in. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me. This is last month is just taken off. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get this bread and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.